Hey guys, welcome once again to One Life One Chance, and today we're going to be playing a game that came out by Rare in 1988 called Cobra Triangle on the NES. Now this is a game that fans either love or hate. I personally really, really enjoyed the game. Grew up playing this an awful lot. It's a real hybrid. It's a combination of racing, shooting, and puzzle elements too. And uh, we're going to see how long we can last off One Life. This is one of the hardest and most frustrating games you'll ever play. Now, don't take the lightheartedness of this first level for granted, because once you get past this, the challenge really starts to begin. Now, all the levels are completely different. They are basically work in the form of a bunch of mini-games, I guess. Uh, you'll have levels where you have to race, and then levels where you have to, like, uh, shoot and survive to rescue hostages. Uh, levels where you have to collect mines, levels where you have to avoid obstacles, so there's always something different to see and do, which is pretty cool. Now, you've probably seen those pods that I collect. Uh, they work in the form of currency, and as you can see in that little display at the bottom of the screen, you've got turbo, fire speed, missile force. Every time you collect a, a pod, it basically scrolls through one of those options, and then you hit the select button, and then you're given that uh, boost accordingly. Um, so much like other great games that have a similar kind of interface, you've probably seen Gradius, things like that. So anyway, uh, we've got a missile power up now, so we're going to fire missiles um, whenever we shoot. That's pretty realistic, we're sort of going uphill and uh, against the wind, so you can see with those missiles, they're actually firing backwards and being completely uh, unproductive. So it's a pretty, pretty cool design actually to put those physics in. I might want to slow down here. This kind of works as a bonus level. Um, some levels you can actually pick uh, multiple from multiple directions, like in an outrun game or something, to go in, and then you'll get a different level accordingly, which is pretty unique as well. I can't remember what this force power up does at the bottom of the screen, but since we're only playing with one life, it probably doesn't matter too much to figure it out. So we've got the third level here, we're going to dispose of the mines. Now you're given a time limit, uh, what you've got to do is you've got to ev evade this enemy ship and then you've got to collect the mines and uh, try to evade him all the way up this direction here and put him in this little square where they'll explode. Um, and so the secret is just to bob and weave while you're traveling and then the enemy won't catch you. So this is a pretty, pretty level once you work out the pattern to take. I used to die here a lot as a kid back when my fragile little mind wasn't that big. Well, this is a pretty straightforward level, luckily, so we're done now. We're going to advance from here. What level have we got now? Okay, stage will reach the finish. So this is one of the first challenging levels you really get to. Uh, you've got to avoid a lot of obstacles and your... Uh, Driving against the current too, which is a big challenge. Um, these logs aren't too hard to avoid. What's annoying you'll find not just in this level, but in a lot of levels as you go along. Is you have to avoid all these annoying whirlpools. Um, sometimes it takes skill. Sometimes it takes more luck than anything. Um, it's very, very tricky. Let's hope I can get past without losing a life. Nah, I should be so lucky. Well guys, thank you for joining us. That was Cobra Triangle. I wish I could show you more levels, but the rules are one life, one chance. Um, if you've got some patience about you and you want to try a really challenging game, this is the one. And as always, thank you for joining us, guys. If you like what we do, please share, subscribe, tell your friends about us, and we'll see you next time.